What's going on y'all? Tyler back with my 1995 Mustang. So I'm going to be putting this car up for sale here pretty soon. And it's a couple things I need to address so I can maximize the value out of it. Uh, you can see the headlights are faded out compared to the side markers. So we're going to try to clean those up. And this front bumper, pretty bad shape. Clear coat's just coming off. Uh, really, the best way to fix that is just to respray the whole bumper. A couple of issues on the rear bumper as well that we're going to blend in. And also the tail lights are going to have to be really shot. Pretty common on these Mustangs. So we get those taken care of and the rest of the car is in great shape. Mechanically, the interior is 10 out of 10. You know, I'm going to be sad to see it go, but it's just time to move on. But let's get to those headlights and let's get started. So the items I'm going to be using today, I have a spray bottle of water, I have sandpaper of 1500 grit, 2000 grit, and also 3000. I have some tape so I can tape up the surrounding areas, and then some polishing pads, and a 3 inch polisher. And of course you can polish by hand, but I'm just doing that to save some time. Alright, so the first thing we do is just spray down the headlight, some water, grab our sandpaper and just start scrubbing it, just like that. Just wipe down all the access that you're sanding off. And you'll just continue until you've done the whole thing. All right, and then just spray it off, get a microfiber towel, just wipe it off and see your work. And it's a lot more clear. Well, it's hazy because of the, the sanding scratches, but I can tell all of the brown dirt and whatever is on there is all completely taken off. So now we're gonna move on to the 2000 grit. again like you did before wipe it down and check your work and so it's definitely lightening up looks pretty good uh, we'll hit it with 3000 grit and that shouldn't take very long and then we'll do uh, the polish so if you're wondering what I'm using this is a 3000 grit trizac and it, it's kind of soft I don't know if you can see that it's like a, a spongy sandpaper, but it works great. It kind of conforms more to the angles, and so you get a better sand out of it. But yeah, uh, I think you can probably get these online. I'm not sure where I got those. But it's just a little three inch sanding disc. Just fits right on here, and it's real easy. It makes it a lot quicker. So now that the sanding part's done, we're going to polish it out. Again, I have another three inch polishing pad that I'm going to use with the polisher. And I'm just going to start with Meguiar's compound and then we'll go to the polisher and hopefully she looks pretty good. 